Only two weeks remain in the Big South season, and there is a lot on the line here today. Kennesaw State, they've won eight games in a row. They're unbeaten in league play. Charleston Southern, one loss in the league. They're still very much in the hunt. This should be fun today. So they will kick off, and Kennesaw State will have their offense going early. Ryan Bohannon, what a great job he's done in building a program here at Kennesaw State. Mark Tucker in his first year as the head coach at Charleston Southern. And we're underway. This will be Shaq Terry taking it to the five-yard line. Terry up just across the 25, which is where Kennesaw State will and Kennesaw State back in the polls this week. Number 23 in the polls. First down for the 25. This is Terry up across the 30. Shaquille Terry on the carry. Shaquille Terry who seven, returned to kickoff for a touchdown earlier this year. Longest play in school history, 97 yards. He averages 13 and a half yards a carry. And as we told you, this is a team on an eight game winning streak. They lost their opener to Sanford, but they've been pretty good ever since. There's a flag down on the run. That I think they're outstanding, especially in that first half, really putting a lot of pressure on opposing defenses. Burks, and that is played very nicely by guess who? Looking in that 10 for the Owls. And McKenzie, he's going nowhere. The middle of that line came up big, and it was physical with Ellis alongside. We talked to Brian Bohannon earlier in the week. He said he's really concerned about this game. The up front, that they he admitted they manhandled Kennesaw the last couple of times they played. On the pitch, not good for a first down. Zane will stand at his 10-yard line to receive the punt from Chris. Averages 39 yards a kick. High, short. Lindsay calls for a fair catch, makes it. Well, is not in uniform today. He got hurt last week against Gardner Webb. The other, other quarterback, Johnson, we'll see some of him today, but it's Mitchell who will get the start now for Charleston Southern. And it's Mitchell who will carry, and a nice gain for the senior. But he's got a strong arm. And one of those passes was a 49-yard pass that set up the game-winning field goal for Charleston Southern against Gardner-Webb. It's Mitchell again. He's got a first down. So two carries, and Robert Mitchell looks pretty good. Nation. First down, balls up to the 33-yard line. There was, there was something wrong with that play from the get-go. and A great play for Kennesaw State by Anthony Gore, the middle lineman. Bell in a championship. Second and long, Mitchell looked like he was going to throw. And another good play by that strong Kennesaw State defense. Those numbers, they're not easy to see. <laughs> not easy to read. That 98 looked like it could have been a number of numbers. Third and a mile. Mitchell. Intercepted. 18th interception of the year for Kennesaw State. Oh, my. What a great play by number 42. Richard Franklin. And he's a ball hawk. He's always around the ball. His fourth interception on the season. See if it. Nope, that's a good call. That's an incomplete pass. Yep. Ball hit the ground. It looked from our angle like an interception, but that ain't. An effort by Armstrong jumping that was that a heck route. of an effort. Ryan. 
Reingard gets off a good punt. Bert Bertsall with the return, and Kennesaw State will have it first and 10. When we come back, no score here in Kennesaw, Georgia. Retired from the United States Army, Colonel with 26. Man, no stats we're talking about at this point. No, I know you're good, man. I mean, that in two? It is, yeah. But you see it, yeah. Yeah. Chandler Burks and company out for the second possession for the Owls. I thought Charleston Southern's defense did a great job in that opening possession. Now remember to do on schedule, you gain on first down. Leaves you a lot of options. That is McKenzie for a couple. Jake McKenzie, the red shirt. But it'll bring up now third and three. On the pitch, breaking a tackle, first down and more. Reese for Holland to get the first down. Kennesaw State into Charleston Southern Territory, now at the 40-yard line. McKenzie for a couple. You know, you talk about Holland, that big. <laughs> On the pitch, that's T.J. Reed. Love to run that quarterback follow on these third and short plays. Keep your eye on number three. Reed, who had that carry a moment ago, he is really fast. He's had some long runs this year. Kennesaw State at the 27-yard line. for the first time today. They've been pretty efficient there, scoring 31 of 37 trips. It's an offense that's not very pretty, but it is effective. As we told you, the best rushing team in the country. Third down for the out. Brian Bohannon, he's done an outstanding job here, Mike, at Kennesaw State. It's the discipline his team has and the success they've had from the infancy of their program till now, being in, in contention to win the Big South this season. They were in contention last year and they're really disappointing to them not to go to the playoffs. On the pitch, Holland, he may score, touchdown! This to make it 7 nothing. Kick is up and good. The Owls. <laughs> Lindsay at the four. A lot of speed, but taken down at the 21 yard line. Right up the middle, and it's going to be a big game for Charleston. One of the best freshmen in the Big South, out of Leesville, South Carolina. Mitchell to throw it. He's got an arm, and he's got a man wide open. Dorian Bright again. That was Dorian Walker, who was on the coverage for the Owls, and it'll be second and ten. Up the middle, it's Schuler, and he's going nowhere. 
Great play by the defensive front. As well as Bryson Armstrong coming up or down now at the 41. Mitchell under pressure. He's going down. He lost the football. And it looks like Kennesaw State may have gotten on it. Still trying to determine. We haven't seen a signal yet. Now it is Kennesaw State ball. Mitchell lost with the fumble recovery. He's a senior from Noonan, Georgia. Ball's at the 32-yard line. Uh, Kennesaw State. You saw it there just a moment ago. McKenzie down to the yard line. Stop this option. On third down, the pitch to Terry. First down and more. Down to the 11-yard line. On that right side. McKenzie down inside the 10-yard line. You know, he's the leader of that defense and the enforcer, especially in the middle there. Final minute of the first quarter. And Terry, Owls already up 7 0. Burks, the quarterback, has thrown one pass so far today. He's one for one. On the toss sweep here. And close to the end zone. Did he get in? Ball comes loose. Touchdown. Keon, back number three. Or actually, that was Ellis who knocked it out. Yeah. Ellis was swatting at he missed it the first time, but then got it the second time. But Holland, boy, dangerous sticking the ball out there. But if it works, if <laughs> you get it over the goal line, that's all that matters. The Royer hit him about the five yard line, but Holland getting low, momentum going forward. Ball bounced around. That would be Holland's second touchdown if it stands. So Darnell Holland, two touchdowns. Kick is up and good by Thompson, and it's 14 to nothing. You talked about this earlier. Oh, no, yeah, but I, I think so. <laughs> I'm wearing a jacket, and I'm still cold. Genevieve's kickoff, and Lindsey will not run it out. Charleston Southern, I think. I, I know there's 14. Mitchell, and he's going nowhere. Boy, this six foot three. Well, I want to tell you, Brian Bohannon is really upset on the sidelines. That's Justin Marcus. The 40-yard line, first down, Charleston Southern. Interception. Again, another troubling series for Charleston Southern. We told you they're number three in the country in interceptions. And that indeed their 18th. They've had at least one in every game. And what you do again here, what Charleston Southern can't do, is give Kennesaw State another short field. What they can do, though, is penetrate and throw Burks for a loss. That was Bobby Ruff. The senior, <laughs> Charleston Southern's defense has a real test right here. That running game is just so hard to stop. Darnell Holland again. Holland having a great first down 22 yard line.
Burks on the pitch to Reed. Reed's got the corner turned. Reed is going to score. The ruling on the field, the runner stepped out of bounds at the four yard line. Now they're saying he stepped out of bounds at the goal now. At the four. Kennesaw State threatening to break this game open. Burks. There's that follow play, and they knew it was coming. Third and goal. Touchdown, Kennesaw State. And that's Holland, and that's touchdown number three today. Oh, my. So far, Darnell Holland's having a game to remember. Extra point attempt by Thompson is good. So Jordan Genovese will kick it off. As Lindsay is deep for the Bucks, And it'll be Lindsay at the seven. Lindsay's got great speed. Great return up to the. He's the best runner of the three quarterbacks. And Johnson on the pitch. The football, he's got four touchdown passes on the year. But second and very short. And running for the first down is Ronnie Harris. Number two, Ronnie Harris on the carry for the Buccaneers. Number 57, Tenarius Porter. So you, you get the offensive line getting good push. On that last run, those guys, they've got a very veteran group up front. Johnson will throw it. Johnson's got a decent arm. Over. And second. Pass is complete, but great cover wall. That's the first pass completion today, and it's third and long. Mitchell. Got his man, and he's going to be, I think, a yard short of the first down. Sayer Davis. Ten-yard line. Last three possessions does not have great field position to start. And a good play on first down by that Charleston Southern defense. Yeah, so far. They might. You, know, you got Ellis and Robinson. Yeah. Solomon Brown is playing great up front. The front for Charleston Southern's played well. Holland again up across the 20 yard line. Burks on the pitch. That's Terry. Got the first down. Six twenty in the left in the first half. Boy, time of possession has been decidedly in favor of Kennesaw State. Not much doing there. You see number nine in the middle of your screen. He has played well for Charleston Southern. Dimitri Royer, the free safety. He's had double-digit tackles in four games. Might be hit. McKenzie on second down. It'll be third down, four yards to go. Burks. He is going to be stopped short. There is a flag down. It looks like Charleston Southern. And it'll be holding on Kennesaw State. 
Holding. Holding. Defense, Defense number 42. 42. During the During kick, 10 yard penalty will be added to the end of the kick. Timeout. Timeout. 430 left to go in the first half. Especially getting Johnson in this game. Get him into rhythm. Johnson here in this second quarter. Johnson and he's gonna be taken down. Johnson across the middle has got the H-back wall, and Wall's got a first down up across the 35. Mitchell looked like he wanted to. Johnson again, he's under pressure, and he's going down. That was Armstrong, number 42, who put the initial pressure on, and London Johnson goes down with a sack. Cameron Brown up at the top of the screen. Thrown for a wall, not nearly enough for a first down. Right guard to punt it away, and it's a good punt. Allen, three touchdowns today. Justin. Well, there was a heck of a hit on the sideline. It's the player. He's already up to four down. tackles. Late hit, out of bounds by the defense. Personal foul, unnecessary roughness. 15 yard penalty will be added to the end of the run. First down. Out of bounds like that is a split second decision. See if there is any hurry up offense. Burks going deep. Got a man wide open. He missed it. Oh my goodness. And here the play action. And then Burks throws it over the top. Harper, number 16. Oh my goodness. These for Charleston Southern. They have to be aware of the pass there, playing up and run support. for Kennesaw State. Burks crossed the middle too tall for McKenzie. Just missed him. That is 23. So now we'll see what kind of Hurry up offense, Charleston game of the Big South season next weekend. Charleston Southern trying to make something happen on offense. And you brought up the point, Jay. You, you You're down 21 to nothing. You almost might think they would get some points. And, and here Johnson is going to go. Over the middle. It was short. Intended for Sire Davis. Who has caught a pass today. 16 seconds. Third and two. It's going deep. And there's a flag down. Defensive pass it appears. Number nine. Automatic. First down. And there's Cameron Brown right there. Still hasn't been involved. Tried the shovel pass. A turnover. Four wide receivers, three to the bottom of your screen. That pass is going to go to the end zone and going to be knocked down, and that'll be that the end of the first the half. A dominating performance by Kennesaw State. Darnell Holland with three success in the first half, running the ball, especially to the outside. Kennesaw State threw the ball three times in the first half and completed one. 
Charleston Southern first. They won the toss and deferred. Lindsay will not bring it out. And there's a flag down. Delay of game. Boy, I'll tell you, that is the second time after a kickoff they've come out. Once they could call, and then you've got to get the ball off. You can't, especially on that first play, like you said, have a penalty on that type of issue. Ball move back to the 20. It's first and 15. Johnson. Oh, and he is nailed. This year, Izzy Sam. Well, that pass had no juice. Johnson to throw it. And he's got wall, but that is not going to be near enough for a first. Saul is back for Kennesaw staying at the 30-yard line. Great punt by Rygard. Drives Birdsall back to the 20 and super coverage on special teams. Down for Kennesaw State. And again, the numbers in the first half, 177 yards on the ground. They average 331. Burks to throw it on first down. Got a man wide open. Flag is down. Holding. Holding. Defense number nine. Hilti <laughs> supply. Just the play. Catch. First down. That is a flag on Dimitri Royer there. It's Justin. And trying to make a touchdown here. Make it really tough. Burke's going to throw it again. He only threw three times in the first half. That for Terry and a little over his head. Burks. It was, oh, we've seen two passes already on this drive. And he only threw it three times in the entire first half. Third and two straight ahead and awfully close to the first down. But their defense is going to try to stand up right here. Number 37, Shaquille Terry on the down conversions. First and 10 at the 38-yard line. A little bit of reverse, and that's going to lose a lot of yardage. And guess who was there? And 21. Bottom of the screen, Justin Sumter. No catches on today. Right now, lined up in single coverage. Here goes Sumter. You called it. Got it for a first down. Justin Sumter went up and just took that ball away from Jonathan Slate. What a big play that was. Charleston Southern had him stop before the big pass play. Levels of the Bucks, the Owls protecting the football nicely so far today. Throwing again, got his man, and he dropped it. T.J. Reed cannot hold on to it. Times in the first half, and they, they have put it up a bunch here, and they're going to do it again. Burks, that's going to be too tall for Sumter. Number wide receiver a chance. Justin Thompson in now to try a 36-yard field goal. And it is good. And it's good. Lindsay will bring it out. Might not have been a good decision. Mike That's another. Ronnie Harris, number two in the backfield with him. Another time decision on the Are first play of the drive. Me? Time out. Give it to Harris and Harris. Taken down with authority. 
by Tenarius Bush. Now, senior from Noonan, Georgia, playing a heck of a game. Johnson will throw it. He's got Wall again. Wall's been his favorite receiver today, but there's going to be a late hit out of bounds by Kennesaw State. That was not a smart play. Number six, 15 yard penalty. First and 10 for the Buccaneers. Nonetheless, it's a first down for Charleston Southern. Again, a run up the middle goes nowhere. Harris on the carry and Anthony Gore Jr. again. Johnson. Oh, and he is taken down big time. Looks like Taylor Hinkle came up from his strong safety spot. Johnson made the decision that Hinkle cleaned it up. Third and seven. Pass is cool. Another first down for the Bucks. Here's Harris up the middle for a couple. State territory. They have not been there much today. That was kind of a busted play. And another third and long. Johnson for Wall picked off. Threw it right into the coverage. When it comes to interceptions. Now 19 on the year. Yeah. On the pitch and a positive gain on first down. That's Holland. Darnell Holland, number Gary. Number seven. Oh. Down. Time of possession is going to be decidedly in favor of Kennesaw State. Shaquille Terry, first down and more inside the 20. Down. Burks will throw it. Nobody open it. Set the uh, Big South all-time record. Rex Steiner. McKenzie. And actually, that is Burks. Burks got a first down. Burks. First and goal at the four-yard line off the big gain by Chandler Burks. Here's Terry. Terry not able to get to the end zone again. Dimitri Royer. No. Buccaneer three yard line. Come down to it all, and both those teams. Another run here to Holland. Holland, did he get in? He lost the football. I don't think he got in. Really on the field when the ball was fumbled. See you here, Holland again going for his fourth touchdown. Cruz with the initial hit, then Royer. Oh, it's gonna be a close call. shows us the rolling of the field is confirmed touchback first out Kennesaw State is charged with their first timeout of the half oh, Kennesaw State will be charged the timeout because they threw the flag and 
The initial call was upheld. But now the story is, can Charleston Southern get any offense going? Been a tough day. Johnson to throw it on first down, and he's got a receiver. Yards, 60 passing yards. Johnson on the pitch, breaking a couple of tackles is number two. Another first down. Johnson going nowhere. The, he's getting close to double digit tackles. He's got six. Johnson going downfield. He had. Put on for it. Yeah, you got to go for it. Johnson's going to be sacked. Right guard in to punt it. And Birdsall will take the punt. Birdsall will let it go, and it rolls into the end zone for a touchback. In rushing, you may wonder how that happened. He had 96 at halftime. Remember, he got tackled for that huge loss early on. The middle has been tough sledding for both of these teams. That was Bronson Rick Steiner. But Holland, after that loss, has uh, battled his total back, needing a few yards for a 100 yard gain. Here he is. Knock Southern's offense, turned the ball a couple of times, uh, gave a short field. There's where the marker was for the first down. Getting a yard past it and getting a couple extra yards after the catch. That's Holland. I fumbled it away. By turnover special teams, but can this with their time of possession, Mike, here today? Running oh, the football. a great late pitch by Burks. And they're not going to get it. A great play by Solomon Brown. Ten tackles. That's a good day's work. It's a busy day. Going to go for it on fourth down. Fourth and a yard. There was no gain on that play. They got the yard. Royer. And then also Matt Frank, Zach Mitchler on the right side of the offensive line. Burks. A good pitch to Terry. Terry down inside the 30 yard line before he's upended. Kill Terry, I'm Terry. In the fourth quarter, they had a drive that lasted 10 minutes and seven seconds in the fourth quarter. And looks like very similar to this drive here, Mike. On first down, up the middle, and a big game touchdown! touchdown! They've been worn down today. Thompson on to attempt a point. He's got it right down the middle. It's good. With some, Fist some injuries and start putting a few backups in the game. As the outcome of this game, I don't think is uh, any longer in doubt. Lindsay at the one. Special. After the penalty, first and ten for the Buccaneers from their own 25-yard line. So first down, Charleston Southern. That pass is complete to Dinkins. And we've seen a lot of the twos now come into the game. Johnson. Very little game.
Haven't heard a lot from this other team. Didn't have a lot of success last week. This here today tough for them. Well, they, they only scored one touchdown last week, and yeah. they close out the season next weekend against Liberty. Defense trying for that shutout. Johnson a couple is. Schuler again, and Schuler's cut down. Very little gain. One to nothing. Yeah. You're, <laughs> you're be, certainly, and where you are right now on the field, you're going to go for it. Yeah. Johnson's going to be sacked, fumbled it. Kennesaw State has it. Well, Chandler Burke's day is done. Tommy Bryant, I believe, now in a quarterback for the Owls. And Brian will run it on first down. He's got some speed. He can score. How do you like that? You come in your first play of the game. And you take it in for a touch. Boy, is this team side. Defense, excellent blocking on the outside. Kennesaw State continues to roll. The point on there. Kennesaw State got 38. They made the extra point good. There you go. You know, when I, I, I've been watching you all the game, you know, the, the whole game, the plays, I saw that was going to be... Uh, and he said, okay, freshman. <laughs> Wilson up there. He's, he's a little hurt. He got hit hard. My question has always been, I mean, I know you're down third. I have confidence that you have to develop it, and you can only develop that really in game time situations of what better time than now. You have nothing to lose here. He like you mean it. He like you mean it. On third down. I think that was enough for the first 38 to nothing. Wow. As we approach a minute to play in the game. Week Monmouth and Kennesaw State going to be something the game for the title the game for the playoffs and they'll tell you the game of the season both uh, teams will go in unbeaten in conference play I think both those teams have proven they deserve to be there Monmouth and Kennesaw State clock will wind down that'll be it 38 nothing the score congratulations to Brian Bohannon and his Owls of Kennesaw State. This was a dominating performance today. Well, and they, they almost played a perfect game. I mean, other than the one turnover, all three phases played outstanding, but creating turnovers on defense was huge with the short field position, then executing on offense, controlling time of possession, and just running the ball down the throat of Charleston Southern. They did everything great. Yeah, indeed. And, you know, you look at what Darnell Holland has done. They've got so much depth at running back. Reed made some big plays. Shaquille Terry made some big plays. And then in the second half, we saw Chandler Burks throw it, and they were pretty successful throwing the football. Well, and that's the phase that when they open up their passing games to Sumter, it makes it so much harder on that defense, not just to play the run, but have the threat of the pass. Or Kennesaw State, 38. Charleston Southern, nothing. For Jason Halder and our entire crew. I want to thank you for being with us today. I'm Mike Hogwood, and for now, we'll say so long from Kennesaw, Georgia. Next week, it's Monmouth and Kennesaw State for the title.